Got my finger on the trigger. I'm telling you, it's rigged. The whole damn thing. But I don't know who to trust. They're stealing everything from us, and they're getting away with it, too. How's that you. even fair? Since you've worked with Angelina Jolie now and Jodie Foster as well, what are some of the differences in their directing styles? Because I think they're two of the most interesting directors today. I mean, I, I feel that Unbroken was a, a different beast to, to Money Monster and probably required a different style. You know, we had Roger Deakins um, filming Unbroken. Oh, Deakins. Um, Let's get him an Oscar, for God's sake. Yeah, it's about time, isn't it? Jesus, God. Plenty of nominations. Yeah. Well, and so we, I, I forget, I forget our DP's last name on Money Monster, which I'm kicking. Uh, Libertique, Matthew Libertique, yeah. yeah, yeah. And 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 so, you know, that that was Money Monster was set now, Unbroken was set then. And so I, th I think they required different styles anyway, but there were similarities too. Of course, common grounds between them. You know, they were always there, very driven. And I, I think they get on with each other, which doesn't surprise me. How do you mean that? I think like they're friends. Like I remember when I first met Jodie, I was with Angelina, and um, they like went aside for five minutes, having like talking. Nice. I could feel my ears burning. So I presume they said good things. Good things, absolutely. But I, I know that after that conversation, you know, they 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 already had respect for each other anyway. So I would say there's. It seems as though there would be an, a great mutual admiration there. Makes you know sense. What I mean? Why not? I can't think why not anyway. Are you completely exhausted when you shoot, especially this movie, but even this and Unbroken as well? Because there's so much of you and there's so much force behind what you're doing. And this character is obviously in a very high tension situation. Yeah. Are you just totally like knackered after the whole thing? I mean, if, if I'm not, then I'm worried. Mm. But then also I get to really enjoy what I do for a living. And then, and, and so I, 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 didn't, I didn't get into this presuming I'd ever be here. I'd always just hoped. So the, 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 the fact that I, I, I get to work in this realm of the industry um, really takes the edge off. And also I could be doing a, a, a lot of worse jobs. So, True. so I, I think you get energized from, from knowing that and remembering that. I feel the same way sometimes. Yeah, good. And you know, watching George Clooney's character being a host on TV, there's something interesting about how I've always thought that to be a good host, you need to be vulnerable. And his character seems very impenetrable until your characters meet. Uh -huh. And your character really breaks through that. Yeah. Now, do you watch TV differently now because of being through this and seeing this kind of figure behind the scenes of such a crazy character on such a typical TV show? Well, th this kind of show doesn't exist at home for me in the UK. Um, you guys are much smarter and much less sensationalized than we are. Look, I'd never argue that. I would never argue that. But I, th I feel that what, what I think is morally wrong about there being a channel like this in the first place as a foreigner looking in, it, it kind of makes me feel uneasy that, that people are, are literally being conned on television to right. some degree. You know, I'm sure there's such thing as successful investments and what have you through TV channeling and broadcast, but I don't know, certainly in Kyle's case anyway, he gets done over. So, I don't know, I don't know what my opinions were beforehand, but I feel educated on the topic now.